Pull out your handkerchiefs and embrace the nearest loved one. The last LSU Lately of the season starts right now. Hello and welcome to the very last LSU Lately of 2015. How is our studio audience doing tonight? How are y'all? Oh my gosh. <laughs> thank you guys. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. Thank you. If you don't already know out there, my name is MJ Hernandez. I've been the host of this show since August when I was out of a wrist brace. And today I will bid you farewell. It's our last show of the semester and my last is host since I'm graduating in just a few weeks. Oh, yeah, I know. And since I've become just such an important part of the LSU community out there, entering a fabled place in LSU lore, we decided to dedicate this show to the biggest dogs on campus. Throughout the show, we'll talk about the guys who rule the school, the kings of LSU. But first, final week is next week. I know, I know, as long as we don't talk about it, it'll go away. But ladies and gents, I'm here to give you the advice you need to get through those stinky tests. This is LSU Lately's official list of top five things you better not do during finals. Number five, don't visit Tigerland. Folks, this rule is very, very simple. There will be plenty of time for celebratory eggnog while you're waiting for Santa. Number four, don't take a weekend trip. Now is not the time. We all know you'd give anything to head to Gulf Shores or take that trip to Houston. But is the day before the most important school day of the year really necessary? Number three, don't starve yourself. I promise there will be time to worry about your caloric intake. Order takeout, drink seven coffees, now's the time to buckle down, and food is just so good, isn't it? Number two, don't start a Netflix show. No, no, no. All of that binging happiness will be there when you're done. Change your Netflix password and hand it to a friend. Maybe make it, I love LSU lately, 1738. And number one, don't give up. Folks, this is your time to shine. You're the star student, don't doubt yourself. Open up that textbook, look at it in its eyes and say, I got your number, bro. Don't do these things, and you just may survive to see home again. Godspeed, my friends, and good luck. Now, to our first king of the episode, it's the Mad Hatter himself. It's Les Miles. Now, over the past few weeks, there have been many rumors saying the grass-eating football coach was not going to be with the school much longer. Rumors swirled all last week leading up to the Texas A&M game, after which athletic director Joe Oliva let us know Miles would continue to be our coach. Take a look at people looking foolish before the announcement and getting proven wrong about Les leaving. Let's take a look. All right, guys, we're here with a very disgruntled Mike the Tiger. After these three losses, uh, rumors of Les Miles getting fired are going around, so we're going to ask people what they think. All right, I'm here with Julian, and we're discussing potential rumors about Les Miles getting fired. Um, how do you feel about that? Um... I don't know, I think uh, we may, we'll make a mistake if we do fire him. Uh, I go both ways. He, uh, okay. he, he's a great coach. I feel like it's a competition. So you, you do think he should be fired? If you're not fired, then you're going to go into retirement. Okay. Forced retirement. Yeah. And some people are saying that Burnett's been going to the orthodontist a lot, and that orthodontist has recently come out as an Ole Miss fan. Um, do you think he might have been messing with his me mentality, maybe, or giving him some drugs that he shouldn't have? Well, I think it's possible that I have no problem. <laughs> I, I know some other drugs because I have, I have braces myself. Look at me. Yeah. Like, but no, I don't, I don't think the orthodontist gives out drugs for braces, but hey, if he does, man, yeah. How's Mike the Tiger's Cage? Do you like it? A lot. All right. Would you want to live there? Probably not. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if they took the tiger out, huh? Yes. All right, guys. This has been Sherman and Sage for LSU Lately. We'll see you guys next semester. Now, since we started our show, we had a huge goal in the back of our minds. Get LSU president and chancellor, F. King Alexander, to appear on our show as a guest. That didn't happen. And when we come back, I'll read the scathing letter I spent most of the weekend writing at F. 
looking for questions, looking for answers to the questions like, why weren't we good enough? Stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back, folks. Our next king of LSU is none other than the F king. Dr. Alexander rules the school, leading LSU to be the best university it can be, but he's got a pretty busy schedule. Apparently, too busy for us. All I ever really wanted from this show was to learn what the F stood for, and it looks like I'll never get the chance now. So, without further ado, I would now like to read a letter I have written entitled, What's Wrong with LSU Lately? Dear President Dr. F. King Alexander, what's wrong with LSU lately? What is it about our little nighttime entertainment show that makes you want to avoid us at all costs? All we wanted to do was make people laugh, and my mom tells me that most of our episodes were just fine. So, what was it? Was it the inability to get A-list LSU guests? Because, with all due respect, sir, we did that. Have you forgotten our rare interview with LSU soccer star Mariel McLaughlin, when she admitted to the world that she puts peanut butter on each slice of banana? Or our special sit-down with Dr. Harold Leader, discussing the ins and outs of study abroad? Have you forgotten, sir, when Quidditch wizard Charlton Trammell played Quidditch Pong with us and neither of us made a single goal? Or how about when painted posse person Madison Davis challenged me to a Mike Tiger drawing contest? Sir, no disrespect, but even your student equivalents, SG President Andrew Matuk and VP Hannah Knight, appeared on our show. We tested their LSU trivia and they walked away with limited edition LSU Lately sunglasses. We had A-list local actors come on our show and dramatically tell us Hot chicken, hot chicken, what combo you picking? <laughs> Football star Malachi Dupree even graced the screen of our show once, and now he's a loyal viewer, probably. <laughs> and the Smash Club officers even graced us with their presence. Sure, they may not have looked too happy when they were here, but I was sure happy to have them. <laughs> Dr. Alexander S., if that is your real name, what's wrong with LSU lately? Is it because we didn't do any outreach to the students of LSU? Because guess what? We did. Maybe you're just trying to forget when we went to Tigerland and used our thirst meter on inebriated students. Or maybe you just don't remember our mobile booth at Fall Fest where we passed out the dankest of memes. Dr. Alexander, Andrew Montuk and Hannah Knight even became special correspondents for us, seeing how many students actually knew who they were. They weren't ashamed to find out the answer was no one. <laughs> we whipped out our broomsticks and put a spell on some unsuspecting ladies with our Harry Potter pickup lines. We scared students with the help of our friend, the LSU Lately Ghost. Fun fact for our loyal viewers, that's actually Shervin under a white sheet. And we put a profile on your students, showing off their best and strangest talents. And we danced the dance of life for Dance Marathon. We have some pretty sweet moves, I have to say. So, Dr. Alexander, I ask once more, with all due respect, what's wrong with LSU Lately? Because we say there's nothing wrong. Take this as our formal invitation to come on our show anytime in the near future, whenever that may be. We love you, sir. Now, we've got some big news about our show coming up after the break. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back to the show. Now, the last king of LSU is one that I hold near and dear to my heart every day. He's smart, funny, has dashing good looks. I'm talking about the man himself, the big cheese, the head honcho, me. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Since this is my last show, I am proclaiming myself as an unofficial official king of LSU. And as king, I just want to say a few words before I sign off from LSU lately for the last time. My work for Tiger TV started with a little entertainment show called The Funyun, but when Funyun graduated with its creators, I wanted to continue to put my spin on Tiger TV entertainment. I approached my good friend, Austin Hard, who had been producing news on the station for most of his college career, with the idea of a late-night-style talk show that would include guests, games, a live audience, and a whole lot of fun. We've had a blast making the show what it has become. Every monologue we've written, every guest interviewed, and every game attempted will stay in my heart as I leave LSU. I am proud of the show we have created and hope we were able to entertain you as that was our main goal from the beginning. I graduate in about two weeks and our producer Austin is continuing his path in news as news director for Tiger TV. And this leads us to our special announcement. LSU Lately will continue next semester, but under new management. Now, you probably know Shervin, Asayas, and Daniel Anton from the funny videos they make for us every week. Well, they are in charge now, and I'm happy to give them the reins and hopefully not destroy the legacy of this mediocre entertainment show. But back to me. Now, before we go, I'd like to say a few thank yous to my parents for giving me their funny jeans. To my girlfriend, Haley, she's sitting right there, for occasionally being our only audience member and being our biggest fan. 
to the production staff of Tiger TV for being so patient with us as Austin stuttered over how the game was supposed to work each week, to our advisor, Cindy Carter, for the constructive <laughs> criticism she gave us each week and her trust in us not to screw up, and you, the viewers in our live studio audience, thank you guys for taking time out of your busy schedule to look at our high-quality content for 15 minutes every single week. Now, I'm MJ Hernandez, and from all of us here at Tiger TV, good night. Thank you, guys. Thank you.